Hey, what's up there, YouTubers? It's me again, Brian, aka Gamer55551. And I am back with a review slash thought video, or at least my take on, on season one of Castlevania's uh, Nocturne, N-O-C-T-U-R-N-E. Again, apologize for not saying the name correctly, though. Um, but basically, this is a spinoff or the continuation of the, of the Castlevania series that I believe premiered back in 2017 on Netflix. And for parents out there, it's worth pointing out that the show is rated TVMA, Mature Horizons Only, here in the U.S., now, when it was announced that Netflix was doing a, a series based off of Castlevania, I wasn't sure how to process that information at the time, though. And this, a lot of this was at a moment when Konami, well, let's just say, let's just say the reputation wasn't necessarily great, and unfortunately that reputation isn't still um, great. But when the series premiered on Netflix, though, it actually proved to be very good, to be exact, though, ranging from the style, the animation, to the storytelling, to the, really the action sequence at all. It was actually much better than I had uh, originally thought. I watched um, all four seasons of it, though, and it was really good and definitely a favorite of mine not only on netflix along with shows like cyberpunk edge runner but also shows that it is possible to do a tv show or a movie based off a of video game if done um correctly and we have seen that over the years with witcher as i mentioned cyberpunk edge runner and of course shows not on netflix like say um or t movies, to be exact, like The Last of Us from Max to Universal's Super Mario Bros. movie, which did very well at the box office. So the fact that they were do working on a spinoff or a next entry into the series, though, of the Castlevania series, though, I was actually very curious to see how this one was going to do, especially since one of the folks who worked on the original one basically had basically stepped down or was removed from this one mostly due to let's just say some allegations that were level towards him and they were kind of severe um allegations well after watching all eight, eight all eight episodes of the castlevania nocturne though i will say that i like what i'm seeing right now even if there's one character i'm sort of mixed at least how it was portrayed at least how i am seeing it however so in terms, I'm gonna break it down into what I like and what I didn't like mix not 100% or not sure about. Um, in terms of what I like, I will say I definitely like the new setting to basically the next entry in the Castlevania series. Um, I definitely like how it takes place during the whole French Revolution and all, and you see um, a little bit of what's going on in terms of the whole French Revolution, not to mention mentions of the uprising in terms of like I think the Haitian Revolution as well as some of the characters at least from you know you know in areas like Haiti and everything so it's really neat and really I like how the, the setting itself is um really good and I think it makes for a great storytelling in terms of the whole backdrop of during backdrop during the French Revolution and all uh, the next thing to talk about is that it still maintains a lot of the stuff there I mean the storytelling is still great and everything like that. Definitely, you know, for our older audience, but still really good. To even like sort of the, um, so, so like basically the action sequences and everything like that are still hold up. And yes, I mean, being this is more TVMA, there's a bit more, let's just say more innuendo than you would for like any other shows. But then again, the original 2017's Castlevania had that as well, so that's really um, not surprising at all. But in either way, it still maintains a lot of the stuff that basically the previous Castlevania series had, and I think I'm glad that they sort of carry this over to basically this spinoff or this um, new new or new entry in the series. And of course, the animation of it still looks great and everything like that. The animation to it, um, I enjoyed it when the original Castlevania comes out and I enjoyed um, this one and know. It still maintains that style, that 2D animation style um, to it. I think that's um, really good and also animation is still up there. It's still good quality um, and everything. As far as what I didn't like or mixed or not 100% sure about, um, I will say this. Before I begin bringing that up, I just want to say for the record, and I know some might view this, some might consider this a racist view, some might view this as a political view, but I do want to say I'm not, I have nothing against 
you know, the person who voices this character and all, and I'm not here to play, you know, the so-called woke card or anything like that. It's just, I'm somewhat mixed to a certain degree how she was portrayed, and this has to do with Annette, voiced uh, by T-H-U-S-O, M-E-B-E-D-U. Again, I apologize if I'm not saying her name correctly. And I just feel somewhat mixed about her portrayment because, I mean, if you look at past Castlevania games and everything like that, and maybe it's because I'm looking at it from that kind of perspective, though, um, she wasn't exactly the same character as how it's being portrayed here, which is a free, um, you know, free, like, free slave you know from you know you know from haiti you know that was occupied by the french and everything like that i'm not saying i am i'm against her character or anything like that and if she was say like an original character i would be down with that though it's just maybe it's because considering that this character considering that annette was different in the games and all i was hoping they'd stay maybe somewhat closer to the games okay again I just want to say I had nothing against her or the person who voiced this character. I just think it would have been better off if they just used her, like, say, like an original character, like a new character or anything um, like that. I still think she's really neat at all and everything like that. I like, you know, again, I like the setting that takes, that part of it does go a little bit in her backstory, especially growing up in, you know, you know, like in Haiti, you know, it was run by the French and all and before, you know, like the, I believe the Haitian Revolution that kicked the French out and everything like that. It's just, I think they could have used a different name for her character and all, okay? I just, again, nothing against her, nothing against the person who voiced it, just, I just, I just sort of mix on how she's being portrayed and everything like that. Overall, I would say I'm very pleased with what I saw so far, though, and I'm definitely enjoying basically the latest entry in the Castlevania series on Netflix. And it's best, though, the setting is really great, taking place during the French Revolution, especially with does a good job with the storytelling and everything like that. Um, it maintains a lot of stuff that the past um, Castlevania entries on Netflix has, and I think that's really good from its action, storytelling and all. And of course, you know, the animation still looks good. At its worst, I wouldn't consider this worse, just mixed. It's just how she is, how the character Annette is sort of portrayed though. I think, I still think if it was an original character, I think that would be fine and everything like that. I'm just somewhat mixed on how she sort of portrayed, but in either case, it doesn't ruin the experience or anything like that. I am definitely looking forward to season two of, Cap of the next entry, you know, of Castlevania Nocturne, especially with episode eight, which had, spoiler alert for those who may have not seen the series yet, the introduction of Alucard, and I'm very curious to see how Alucard's going to be portrayed compared to how he was portrayed in the 2017 Netflix Castlevania series. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this all um, plays out when season two does happen. But in either case, I would say this. If you enjoyed 2017's Castlevania on Netflix, you'll probably more than likely enjoy this one. I think it's good. It's definitely a recommendation um, in my book, though. <clears throat> Okay, uh, this concludes my review slash thoughts on Netflix's Castlevania Nocturne. And again, these are my opinion. What are yours? What are your thoughts about um, Netflix season one of Castlevania Nocturne though? Do you like the new setting to basically, setting taking place during the French Revolution? Do you think it still maintains a lot of stuff that the previous Castlevania series on Netflix um, that made that great in any way though? Were there characters you you were pleased with how they portrayed, or the characters you were sort of mixed, how you didn't like how they were portrayed in any way? Do you agree with what I said in this video? Do you disagree? Do you have a difference of opinion? Um, as always, sound off on the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And if you do like this video, I hope you hit the like button. I would appreciate it. And I hope you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you do, make sure you hit the bell icon for notifications of any new videos I put up. Also. Feel free, <clears throat> excuse me, feel free to share this video if you want to, and feel free to donate to my channel if you like. You could do it through PayPal me or Patreon or Steam Labs. Links will be in the description of this video, so me watch this on YouTube. And I will see you again next time when I do another video. Hopefully that'll be soon. Until then, from Southern California, I wish you all a good day then. Bye!